Hello, from the front seat of my 2006 Volkswagen Jetta. Right now I am in Noosa, Queensland, Australia. I have spent the last two weeks living with my auntie and uncle, so Mark and Sam, you're the best. Thank you so much for letting me stay. You've made setting up life in Australia so much easier, like finding a job, not rushing around, trying to do things. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Right now I'm gonna show you my car camping setup. So, like I said, 2006 Volkswagen Jetta. It is a six-speed automatic, two-liter diesel. I got it for $4,000. So yeah, that's like 2,500 euro. That's an absolute bargain, if you ask me. Like, that's cheap in Ireland at the minute, with the way car prices are. There was an issue with the EGR, and I knew that before buying it, so I had to drop it back and get it done, and it got sorted. Everything's good, cush deep. It's driving perfect, fuel economy is really good. This is the driver's seat. Uh, it's really weird driving an automatic. Uh, we usually drive manual in Ireland. Automatics aren't really that common. Very strange just having your left foot just kind of sitting there, doesn't do anything. But yeah, and then into the passenger seat, I have all kind of my stuff that I want to reach for like really quickly. So fanny pack, if I'm going into shops and things like that, it's handy to have. This thing is unbelievable. It's a Yeti, a little bit expensive. It was like 55 quid. So good, definitely worth it. And then this is like GoPro accessories. GoPro stick floaty grip thing um, that I have that's like for rubbish that I'm going to throw out and then this is actually a bunch of toiletries because I don't know where else to put it right now right that is the front of the car I also have this um, blackout blind sun reflector thing okay now the doors are a little bit funny in this this one opens but the other one doesn't so this is my bed, um, yeah, I have under here a self-inflating mattress that I got for like 22 quid in Kmart. Kmart is unbelievable, you can do like click and collect, so you don't even have to go in there, you know exactly what you're spending online, and you just put in your order and you go pick it up. It's class, that's where I got all of this, so like the bed sheeting, two pillows, I have one here and I have one under here because there's like a gap in between where the bottom of the boot is and where the back of the chair starts. So that's that side. And then this is the kind of funny door. So you have to open it here and then open it here. <laughs> funny one's gonna rob me, this is kind of like a tutorial on how to rob me. Uh, yeah, just a bag. Um, that's like an extra one of these things because I thought they were for the back windows. It's just for the back window, not the side windows. And I ended up buying two. Then in here I have all my clothes. Nothing too special. Um, just kind of easy to get if I'm like lying in my bed. I'll just be able to reach over and pick up all my clothes. And then the boot. So we have the bottom of the bed. So that's it. it, stretches all the way up to the front. That was really, really handy. Um, back in Ireland, I had a Mark V Golf that I slept in in Galway. And like, it was doable. Uh, it was a little bit kind of in the fetal position, but it worked. So this is even more room, so it's perfect. And then we have five liters of water. That is gonna be for like water in the car, that's really it really, if I get desperate I can drink it, but it's probably a little bit warm by now and rotten. In here I have a stove set up, um, knives and forks, and then it's like pots and pans, and you have like your little stand for your propane tank. The propane tank is actually in a little cooler bag at the base of where I'm sleeping. Um, two mugs, like thermos mugs. And then in here, behind this bag, I have da -da -da -da, I have a light, uh, jet leads, and some engine oil. This is like a bag full of absolute nothingness. It could, everything in it could really go. There's like two books in it. As much as I like the idea of reading, I'm not a reader. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, 
that's pretty much it. Um, like door things, kind of funny. It's like stapled together. So yeah, that's pretty much my car camping setup. Yeah, that's just like a quick little video, kind of show you what's going on here. Um, if you want to stick around and see what this place is actually like, uh, I recommend you do that. Kind of biased of me, but you should do it. Uh, there's like kangaroos and stuff, and a really nice lake, so I'm gonna go check that out. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.